guys. So I'm at the airport. I'm at my gate. Panama, here I come for a whole week. So let's see what it holds. I'm gonna get lots of footage, lots of pictures, sceneries, and um, it's definitely adventure ahead. Lots of mixed emotions, but I'm super excited. Catch you on the other side. on my plane from Miami to Panama. I have just boarded and I am excited. Um, has some small delays, but <laughs> we're on the plane and about to take off. A three hour flight and I'm gonna catch you guys on the other side. All right, folks, I just landed in Panama. Okay guys, so we've got to our room. It's me, Melissa, Hi. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> um, this will truly be an experience. It's about, um, what time is it? Eight something, our time guys? Okay, it's 8.39. Um, it pretty much was like another flight to get out here. I don't know where we are because it got dark. <laughs> and, yeah, and um, it was about, instead of that two or three hour ride, they told us it seemed like five. I think all of us have traveled for almost 24 hours um, between, yeah, no sleep, super tired. I'll turn the camera and show you guys this room that, I mean, where can we go now, right? <laughs> but it's just an experience. So this is our little humble abode, um, our little beds. There's two up there, but um, we're all gonna just kombosh down here, okay? Yes, here's the, here's the bathroom. <laughs> and we have a little patio outside. So, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. Oh, I don't think there's any hot water too. So, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is it, guys. <laughs> Checking out. Catch us tomorrow, day one. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is day one, the official day one. Yesterday was travel day, and we are, how are we feeling, guys? Tired. <laughs> They're ready. We're not tired. We're good. We're excited. We got our bags on, ready for the excursions, ready to serve the community, meet the people, and it's breakfast right now. Here's a little bit of the compound. It's so and um, it's, it's just a gorgeous sight to see for real. Um, last night was rough for me. I couldn't really sleep. Not sure if it was anxiety or um, just, I don't know. But I'm adapting and I think today will be better. So, all right. There's our coordinator. Hey. <laughs> yes, guys. So we are, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Deuces. Um, 
Hey guys, alright, so I really wanted to vlog by myself. Um, and so I just wanted to like touch base. I'm just soaking all of this in. Um, what an amazing experience. Um, already I'm just like, wow, like, I didn't know that, you know, I was, when I took my cold shower last night and <laughs> one of my roommates was waiting for the water to get hot. I said, oh, there's no hot water. She's like, what? I'm like, no, they don't have, you know, running hot water. So just imagine um, something as simple as that, having two knobs, but knowing that no hot water will ever come out and just adapting to it and just being thankful that you, you know, you can clean your skin is, is truly amazing. Um, people here are very humble, very grateful, um, very nice, very nice people um, so far. Walking down into the community, the village. So, way down. <laughs> Whoa, it's like a landslide. <laughs> so, we'll see what waits for us on the other side. So, y'all, we are hiking 15 minutes into the community. And when I tell y'all, you see where the rest of the group is? Take a look up close. Yeah, this is us. <laughs> Trucking on down. <sighs> no joke, okay? In the rain. This is for a purpose, for sure. <laughs> Signing out if I ever make it up that hill. <sighs> Alright, guys. Walking through the village. Just came from the community. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Here's our translator. Say hi. Hi. I'm Isaac. Yeah, you're worried about that. Erica uses the steps. Everybody knows I'm quite clumsy. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, it is day two of clinics. I am going to be in the dental um, section for the first half of the day, which I'm super excited. We're just preparing. Um, they're going to be abstracting teeth and doing anesthesia um, in this setting, so check it out. It's a weapon.
guys, so I just wanted to check in. Um, today was day two of clinics and I had the most amazing time. Um, it was super eye-opening. I really enjoyed myself. I was in dental all day, so I got to watch the abstractions, which, oh my God, like any dentist in America or um, other countries that are um, technically logically savvy um, or just advanced in their facility um, should be thankful because these people are just happy that they could get the cavities out some of them never seen a dentist or a doctor before um, had four anywhere from two to four cavities even children as young as four years old who had to get abstractions because their mouth was just completely rotted out um, and just to see like him you only Novocaine and then literally use something that looked like a wrench to like kink, kink, kink and like literally pull it out from the root. The healthcare benefits we have, the access to the type and level of skilled doctors we have, um, the level of facilities that we have access to, um, you know, and just to see these people happy. They're so just thankful that we were even there. To see them thank us um, for being there was just really awesome to me. Um, to see the effect that we made and be able to help. Um, we helped in two days, 288 patients, um, which they said was the largest brigade that they've ever had. Um, so that's awesome. And we're headed to location two tomorrow. So I'm super excited, super grateful, super thankful. And then just the other takeaways from today, um, I met some really cool kids. Um, my brigade is paired with Texas A&M and then Birmingham University from the UK. Um, and the kids, just to hear them talk about even their college system, how they don't pay application fees and um, how paying back student loans work. Um, just hear some of their accents and their different experiences. Um, and to know that there's um, just so many different walks of life coming together for a great purpose is awesome to me um, and just doing some deep thought and my level of appreciation um, who I have around me who's in my circle just all of those type of things so all in all it was an amazing day I really really like today's clinic like I said just really seeing that impact and really being able to take the pain away even though they were in pain they were so much better when they walked away and that's what mattered Where's my phone, guys? I think you have that in America. This is a real shaved ice. Literally. <laughs> Look at the houses. So beautiful. That's way job you guys should see me um, everyone tells me that I'm an amazing runner <laughs> that's probably because they don't want to run so they're like if I boost up she'll keep doing it <laughs> but she gets the job done y'all she I definitely transfer the patients and make the operation keep going which is what she do I mean that's my girl <laughs> the clean operations right there check her out way over in Panama still <laughs> operating get us together she done got the kids together it done ran way smoother since the first day Look, speaking sign language because I can't speak as we
so um, yeah I really 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 liked it so I'm excited it looks like there's a long line and lots of people waiting for clinics today so it's really exciting to see that they are happy for our arrival um, and ready to see the doctor ready to see the dentist um, ready to be diagnosed and receive medication so we'll see what today goes bye Hi everybody, so I am in the data section of the clinic now, and it's quite fun, I guess. Um, I definitely really enjoyed triage, um, just really, I felt more effective, and I like direct contact um, with the different patients, and taking their height, their measurement, and just uh, talking more Spanish, because I would love to be fluent. Um, but now I am doing the data section. Can I check the papers? Absolutely. So we are at the school and we are able to do the work. Yes. And people are lined up and ready to get started. Hello. Oh, the brigade friends. <laughs> Hello. Some more brigade friends. <laughs> you guys ready for today? Looks like it's gonna be a busy one. I know there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. It's exciting though. Yeah, look, a bus is dropping off more. Oh right more. Now. Oh wow. Is there a little Texas AM guy? <laughs> guys so today was our last day of clinics had a great time super great turnout we actually broke record i think the record number for brigades global brigades medical was 508 and i believe we had a total of 688 um, patients we saw over the course of this week I mean we touched like many panamanian lives um, met great people beautiful children just so sweet um, the people here the culture i mean Minus the bathroom, I'm really not ready to go home. I really love the food. I love the culture. I love the peace. It was so tropical, um, just inviting. It was just refreshing, soothing. The naps in the hammock. Um, I can't forget, though, my roommates have been amazing. So um, I'm just like in bliss, and I'm so thankful that I got to come. I'm so thankful I was here, that I got to serve the community, got to give back. Um, shout out to Steve, really amazing, and we are really thankful um, at just the progress we made, what we were able to do. We learned a little bit of Spanish. Um, we really were able to help, like hands-on. It was really amazing to watch, um, and just their level of appreciation um, for us even being here in their country country um, to think that people are grateful for us to come that's amazing so any way we could give back from just going to the local store um, buying the local handmade souvenirs um, and just being here period um, was just truly like a refreshing rejuvenating um, thankful emotion I really hard to put into words quite yet but I'll do that later but must say hi this is a wrap 
Global Gates 2023. It's a wrap. It's been great.